After beginning his shorts on The Tracy Ullman Show in April 1987, The Simpsons soon transitioned into a primetime half-hour series that would eventually become the longest-running American sitcom of all time. The show was often characterized by and celebrated for satirizing Western culture as it reshaped the television landscape and ingrained itself in pop culture. The series received acclaim throughout its early seasons, specifically for the show's originality and creativity. One aspect of the series that was especially ambitious was the Treehouse of Horror episodes, otherwise known as the Simpsons Halloween specials. The episodes consisted of three self-contained segments that take place outside the show's universe and are generally characterized as being much darker than regular Simpsons episodes. The first installment of the series was entitled Treehouse of Horror and aired in October 1990 as part of the second season. The concept was immediately popular among fans and critics, so much so that every season since has featured a Treehouse episode. The episodes have been praised for their creativity in terms of stories, editing, direction, art direction, and sound design. Unfortunately, like The Simpsons itself, which has drawn less and less acclaim as the series has gone on, Hey Mo, you're not gonna serve those eggs, are you? No, no, I, uh, I find another use for them. <laughs> Treehouse episodes have also diminished in quality over the years. Granted, while The Simpsons as a whole diminished in quality after about a decade, the Halloween specials managed to retain most of their original charm and creativity long into the series' run. While it was inevitable that The Simpsons would diminish in quality, especially after decades and hundreds of episodes, I'm Lisa Simpson, superstar. I'm so embarrassed. There's really no excuse as to how and why the Treehouse episodes also declined, given that there's less than 100 segments, coupled with the creative freedom the concept allowed for. <laughs> it's generally agreed that it's around Season 9 that The Simpsons first began to decline, if only gradually. Still, despite the diminishing quality, the Halloween specials were usually standout episodes. At least, the Treehouse segments used to be the highlight of the season. Nowadays, there's a strong likelihood that Halloween episodes will be just as bad as a regular season episode. While it was inevitable that The Simpsons as a series would always decline, especially after 30 seasons, there's really no legitimate reason for why the Treehouse episodes diminished to a point of being a parody of themselves. A very clear reason for this had to do with the same thing that saw the series itself decline in quality. One of the things that makes the Treehouse series remarkable is that anything can happen within the episode, because the stories are non-canon, so major characters can be horrifically maimed, injured, or even killed. I would have taken a bribe. This, combined with the aesthetic freedom, gave the writers and the animators almost complete creative freedom to do whatever they wanted. In the earlier episodes of the Halloween specials, it was obvious that, despite the extra work involved in producing the segments, as they simply couldn't reuse existing character designs and backgrounds, those involved truly cared about what they were doing. However, eventually, it became clear that the show kept making the episodes simply out of a sense of obligation, something that manifested into lazy segments that often had little, if anything, to do with Halloween. Initially, Treehouse segments involved horror, science fiction, and fantasy. Regardless of what stories they were telling, whether they were parodies or original tales, they always had a legitimate association with Halloween. This is less encouraging. Soon, though, Treehouse episodes started featuring stories that had absolutely nothing to do with the holiday and were clearly just concept episodes that weren't long enough, or good enough, to be a full-length regular episode of The Simpsons. The third and final segment of the Treehouse of Horrors 6, when Homer is pulled into another dimension, was the first segment that had absolutely nothing to do with Halloween. Rather, the segment was used as an excuse to do 3D animation and combine it with live action, something that was truly unique and remarkable for television at the time. The segment garnered overwhelmingly positive feedback, but it set a precedent that would, ultimately, come back and hurt the Halloween specials, as its success ostensibly gave the show permission to treat the Halloween special as a dumping ground for underdeveloped concept episodes. Stretch to Plumber Girl! After the success of the three-segment short story format of the Halloween episodes, The Simpsons began doing other episodes that are split up into three individual non-canon stories. As more and more Treehouse episodes were made, it became increasingly clear that whenever an idea for a concept episode failed to result in a full-length Simpsons episode or fit within a three-story, non-canon concept episode, the idea was hastily rewritten to be a Treehouse segment, such as the second segment of Treehouse of Horror 18, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson, a parody of the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You're a killer for hire! Many more non-Halloween segments would follow. Although these segments had the dark humor and comedic violence of the typical Treehouse segments, they had no place within a Halloween special other than to serve as filler. 
Admittedly, the one thing you can say about the 3D segment is that the story embodied the creativity and originality that characterized the Halloween specials. However, the non-Halloween segments that followed were so lazy and uninspired that they bordered on contempt for the Halloween specials itself, especially because there's always more Halloween-themed stories that they could do. Ironically, although Treehouse episodes allow the show to be as wild as it wants to be in terms of creativity, the vast majority of segments are parodies rather than original stories. There's nothing inherently wrong with this, as the show always puts its own spin on whatever it's taking aim at in terms of both story and aesthetic. That's odd. Usually the blood gets off at the second floor. However, as soon as the show resorted to non-Halloween-themed segments as filler was the moment that the show no longer regarded the Treehouse episodes with the respect the Halloween specials deserved, as the show effectively said that there were no more Halloween-themed parodies or good original stories to be told, which simply isn't true. Like most TV shows, the writing staff is made up of professionals who, more often than not, have college degrees from prestigious universities. There's really no excuse for people with that level of education and the talent that saw them get a job on one of the most iconic TV shows of all time, who have been provided the rare opportunity of creative freedom to work with the intellectual properties of The Simpsons, not to be able to come up with more original segments for the Halloween special. Drawing obvious inspiration from the Treehouse episodes, other animated series have done their own horror-themed episodes or segments, such as Family Guy's and American Dad's Christmas episodes respectively, that are both far more Halloween-themed than some Treehouse segments. The sheer fact that other shows have taken inspiration from Treehouse and made their own great parodies or original stories from that I present my tribute to Oscar Wilde, the photocopy of Dorian Gray's Us. Shows that there's still plenty more potential for The Simpsons to still realize with their Halloween specials, even after nearly a hundred segments. Most stories from the Treehouse episodes have been heavily inspired by, if not outright parodies of, classic films, novels, comics, plays, or TV shows. If the writers of the show have truly exhausted their imaginations, and just simply can't come up with any more original ideas, there's still plenty of good-natured parodies that they could do. Although the show has touched on seemingly every possible iconic monster or scene from pop culture, not only are there new horror franchises for them to parody, but the show could still dig deeper into more obscure references. For example, where's the Hellcat from Highway to Hell? The Rare Exports parody. Or the homage to Millennium's episode, Somehow Satan Got Behind Me. There's some places where women don't belong. Not to mention that there's some pretty obvious Halloween-themed parodies that they've missed. Not that targeting new pieces of work for parody is simply the answer, because one aspect of the Treehouse episodes where it's obvious that the show has become complacent is that, when they come up with a genuinely good idea, they seem to think that's good enough. The second segment of the 22nd Halloween special, Dal D for Diddley, is a parody of the TV series Dexter that sees Flanders as a serial killer. Both the premise of the segment and its title, which is a subtle reference to the books that the show is based on, with a triple D alliteration found throughout the book's series, are genuinely great ideas, but then the story goes nowhere. Get me a coffee! Yes, sir. As if the show thought that out of the premise, title, and story, the story was somehow the least important aspect of the segment. Not that they necessarily need to come up with completely new things to parody. Over the years, The Simpsons has rehashed old ideas for the series' regular episodes, and they could do this for the Halloween special. Given how many times they've looked at the Twilight Zone for inspiration, I've created Lutherans! Why not revisit other classic pieces of pop culture that they've already touched on? Maybe leave The Shining alone, because it's pretty much perfect. I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Oh, sorry. Sorry. But there's other movies they've already done that they could look at from a different perspective, or at least make more jokes about. Just because Treehouse has already done a Dracula segment doesn't mean they can't or simply shouldn't do another one, especially considering how many widely different interpretations there has been over the years of Bram Stoker's original novel. Although the thought of reinterpreting a piece of media that they've already done might seem hackney, it can be done in a way that arguably outshines the original attempt, because The Simpsons have done it before, with success. With 
With the popularity of the Treehouse episodes, it made perfect sense to release a Halloween special within the comic book series of The Simpsons. The first Treehouse comic book was released in 1995. Like the television episodes, the issues were utilized to pay respect with reinterpretation of classic pieces of pop culture. One of the best segments in the television series is from the very first episode, when they paid homage to Edgar Allan Poe with their interpretation of his classic poem, The Raven. But that's not the only time The Simpsons have used Poe as inspiration for a Treehouse segment. The third story in the ninth issue of the Treehouse comic book series featured a retelling of Poe's other classic story, The Cask of Amontillado, done in much the same fashion as The Raven segment. Was it as good as the show's interpretation of The Raven? No. But was it still good? Yeah. And it shows that other pieces of Poe's work would be worth reinterpreting through Simpsons' lens, as would other properties they've already covered. Furthermore, the comics highlight another problem with the Treehouse series. Although there seems to be some unwritten rule against using stories from the comic book for the television series, the Halloween issues of the comics have had some of the best Treehouse stories in the history of the series. And this not only shows that there's plenty more parodies and original stories out there for them to do, but they also have some of the best stories for the series that could and should be turned into animated segments, especially if the show is desperate for ideas. Additionally, if the show is truly desperate for ideas, there's at least one other avenue that they can make use of. Initially, Treehouse episodes featured a wraparound that occurred before each segment and loosely tied together all the three stories. The first Halloween special was the only one that actually included Treehouse as a setting, in which Bart and Lisa sat telling each other stories. Treehouse of Horrors 2 presented all of the segments as being nightmares of Lisa, Bart, and Homer. Treehouse of Horror 3 had Lisa, Bart, and Grandpa telling stories at a Halloween party, while Treehouse of Horror 4 is presented by Bart as a parody of Rod Sterling's Night Gallery. The reason the wraparounds were dropped was due to broadcast issues, which saw the episodes being shortened, restricting the time the show had to tell stories. This started with Treehouse of Horror 5 to make more time for the segment, which led to the show subsequently dropping the idea of wraparounds altogether. Although there was a logistical reason for dropping the wraparounds, there's also a legitimate reason for bringing them back. Eventually, as The Simpsons declined, it became very apparent that the show started putting more effort into making creative couch gags, rather than putting in the work to make a good episode. If an episode had a great couch gag, you could expect the preceding episode to be mediocre at best. Crap on a crutch! In the case of the Treehouse episodes, if the show was truly desperate for segment ideas, they could put more effort into making a strong wraparound. The third Treehouse is arguably the best of the Halloween specials that featured a wraparound, with a number of lines and sequences that are just as memorable, if not more so, than the segments themselves. I've got a story so scary, you'll wet your pants. Too late! And the other wraparounds also feature some of the best and most memorable lines in the history of The Simpsons. Hey man, you are crushing me. I tried to scream, but my mouth was full of flab. And there's no reason to believe that they couldn't recapture the early success and popularity of the wraparounds. Honestly though, there's really no reason why the show should ever need a crutch like that when it comes to Treehouse episodes, even after 30 plus seasons of The Simpsons. While it was inevitable that The Simpsons as a series would diminish in quality after more than 600 episodes, there's no real reason for the Treehouse episodes to also have declined, other than laziness, or, worse, the show regarding the episodes is little more than a chore, and making them out of a sense of obligation to appease the fans. Given that there's been less than 100 Treehouse segments, and that most great sitcoms get well over 100 episodes before they really start to decline, it's hard to believe that there's any other explanation for the decline of the Halloween specials, especially when you consider the possibilities that the nature of the episodes provide someone who actually cared about the truly fortunate opportunity they've been given to do whatever they want with the intellectual properties of one of the most iconic shows in pop culture history. This is less encouraging.